In this video, we will discuss the pathological changes that occur in myocardial infarction. Firstly, we will discuss some mnemonics and basic timeline according to which we will discuss each pathological change. Then we will see the microscopic features according to the timeline and then we will see the gross features according to the timeline. So let's start with the basic timeline. We are going to divide this as day 1 which is the first day after MI, week 1 which is from day 1 to day 7, week 2 which is from day 7 to day 14 and then beyond 2 weeks up to forever. So first of all is the day 1. We will call this day as dark and deadly day. We will call this as dark and deadly because this is the day on which myocardial infarction has happened. And these keywords dark and deadly are the mnemonics and they will later help you to remember the microscopic and gross features on day 1. And we will divide this day 1 into 3 parts. 0 to 4 hours, 4 to 12 hours and 12 to 24 hours. After this we will discuss changes at week 1 and this week will be called as an era of invasion. We will see later that who these invaders actually are. We will divide the changes of week 1 into first half that is day 1 to day 3 and second half that is day 3 to day 7. Then the week 2 will be remembered as era of new beginnings and this will be also divided into first half that is day 7 to day 10 and second half that is day 10 to day 14. So let's continue with the microscopic features. On day 1 in the initial 4 hours, you really don't see any visible and prominent change on microscopic view. But if you will look closely, then there will be a small abnormality that could be appreciated. And that is waviness of cardiac myofibers, which means that the myofibers of cardiac myocytes appear stretched and buckled up and appear like waves. So in first 4 hours, you may see waviness of fibers, but in most cases it is not prominent on light microscopy. Now you remember that we called the day 1 as dark and deadly. Well, we called it deadly because from 4 to 12 hours, you begin to see signs of necrosis and irreversible cell injury. The signs of irreversible cell injury are cytotoxic edema and hemorrhage, and the necrosis will be of coagulative necrosis type. So you see that up to 12 hours, the process of coagulative necrosis begins to occur, but it has not fully completed yet. But then from 12 to 24 hours, this process of coagulative necrosis progresses further and is visible as degenerated or pycnotic nuclei and hyper eosinophilic cytoplasm. Pycnosis means degeneration of nucleus which is a hallmark sign of coagulative necrosis. And why the cytoplasm has become hyper eosinophilic? Well you know that cytoplasm contains rough endoplasmic reticulum and ribosomes that appear as basophilic particles. But due to the degeneration of these things in coagulative necrosis, the cytoplasm will become hyper eosinophilic because there are no basophilic structures in the cytoplasm and only thing there is eosinophilia. So you will see hyper eosinophilia with degeneration of nucleus. So overall on first day you see little or no microscopic changes in 0 to 4 hours. You see edema and beginning of coagulative necrosis from 4 to 12 hours and you see progression and completion of coagulative necrosis on 12 to 24 hours. Now we call week 1 as era of invasion. So in first half of week 1 which is day 1 to day 3, these invaders are neutrophils. Therefore you see neutrophilic infiltrates in microscopic view. And by the time the neutrophils arrive, the process of coagulative necrosis is complete. Now in second half of week 1 which is day 3 to day 7, the new foreign invaders are macrophages. And by this time, the previous invaders that are neutrophils have started to die. So you see dying neutrophils you see macrophagic infiltrates on microscopic view and as these macrophages digest the necrotic material so you see disintegrated dead myofibers as well. So overall in first half of week 1 you see neutrophils and in second half you see macrophages with disintegrated myocardium. Now we discussed that week 2 will be remembered as era of new beginnings. So in first half of week 2 which is day 7 to day 10 you will see that phagocytosis that was initiated by macrophages is complete and the granulation tissue begins to develop at the margins of injured area. This granulation tissue represents the new beginnings. Now in second half of week 2, the granulation tissue that was previously at the margins is now well developed. So you see well developed granulation tissue. And now if we track these changes beyond week 2, then starting from week 2 until 2 months, you will see a grey white scar and beyond 2 months up to forever, the scar will become dense and permanent. 
Now let's quickly summarize all these microscopic features. On day one, you usually see just waviness of fibers in first four hours. You see edema and coagulative necrosis from four to twelve hours, and you see progression of coagulative necrosis from twelve to twenty-four hours. Then in week one, you see neutrophils on day one to day three, and macrophages with disintegrated myocardium on day three to day seven. Then in week two, you see granulation tissue at margins on day seven to day ten. and you will see well developed granulation tissue from day 10 to day 14 beyond 2 weeks you only see scar tissue now let's discuss the gross features which are very easy to remember once you have seen the microscopic features so on day 1 from 0 to 4 hours no gross change is apparent from 4 to 12 hours occasionally you can see areas of dark mottling this dark mottling occurs due to congestion of blood but from 4 to 12 hours it may not be present all the time this change is occasionally present and sometimes it may be missing and at this stage if you don't see the dark mottling then there is a specific test that can help you to identify the infarct and this test is that you immerse the gross specimen of heart in a chemical named triphenyl tetrazoleum chloride this is a chemical stain which is named as triphenyl tetrazoleum chloride Now you need to know that this chemical is a stain for an enzyme lactate dehydrogenase. This enzyme lactate dehydrogenase is present in normal myocardium, but this enzyme lactate dehydrogenase is not present in dead myocardium because it has already leaked out from the dead and disintegrated cell membranes of the myocardium. So resultantly, triphenyl tetrazoleum chloride will only stain the normal myocardium and it will not stain the dead myocardium. so in this way you can identify infarcted myocardium now from 12 hours to 24 hours the process of dark mottling is fully apparent so overall on day 1 you see a dark mottling and this is the reason why we call day 1 as dark and deadly day dark meant dark mottling now let's move to the week 1 in the first half of week 1 the infarcted region appears yellow tan in color This yellow color is due to dead myocardium which appears pale and get infiltrated with neutrophilic infiltrates. Now in second half of week 1 the macrophages arrive and phagocytose the dead myocardium. So the central region of the infarct becomes soft. So you see yellow tan area with central softening. Now in week 2 in the first half you see that although the infarct region is maximally yellow tan and centrally softened but there is appearance of red margins at the marginal areas these red margins show granulation tissue and in second half of second week this granulation tissue becomes well developed with red gray border then after week 2 until 2 months you see a grayish white scar and after 2 months the scar becomes dense and prominent So let's review all the gross features once again. On day one, from zero to four hours, there is no change. From four to twelve hours, there is occasional dark mottling. From twelve to twenty-four hours, there is complete dark mottling. In week one, you see yellow tan infarct in first half of the first week, and softening of yellow tan area in second half of first week. In week two, you see red margins of granulation in tissue in borders in first half of second week. and well developed granulation tissue with red gray border in second half of week 2 after week 2 you only see the gray scar